At a baptism, two servers will carry in the water pitchers and place them on either side of the altar as you process in. As we begin the sacrament of baptism, you notice Father going over to pick up a, a black book. Um, the Team B Captain will be doing that from now on. The book may be next to you and your table. If not, you'll go over and get it from Mrs. Fox. If Father beats you to it, then you'll join Father. You'll see Spencer here in a minute starting to go over and um, get next to Father to be his book holder. You notice the other servers coming out of their pew to stand next to Mrs. Fox. The other Team B server that's sitting next or over by the priest will join, pass behind the altar, bow, and join the other servers over by Mrs. Fox. You'll see Spencer taking gentle direction throughout the tape from Father. As the baptisms begin, we see Mrs. Fox getting organized um, with what the server will bring over to Father first. She's actually looking for the proper oil. These are the same oils that are carried, that are stored in the ombre, which is out by the baptismal font as you come into church. So the server's gonna put a towel on their arm and hold the glass jar um, cupped in their hands. And the towel is just for Father to write, wipe the oil off of his fingers after he's used them for the baptism. As you notice, Mrs. Fox is giving instruction to the server, so don't be worried, and then she will cue the server when to head over to Father as well. Um, As you notice, Spencer is uh, relocating himself so he can still be accessible to Father as Father moves around to do the different things that are done uh, during baptism. And now um, one of the servers will be bringing over the oils. Just position yourself as close to Father as you can, and, and you will remain with Father uh, until he finishes, and then you'll take the items back to Mrs. Fox. Um, you'll notice Father is now calling for the water, so the two servers who brought it in will come, get the pitchers, and pour the water into the uh, baptismal font, although there will still be water there. Then Father will give it another blessing. When these servers finish their pouring, they're going to walk together and place the uh, pitchers on the credence table in the back, and then they will join the other servers. Now this should sound familiar. This is our creed, and this is why during baptisms, uh, after the baptisms are over, we start immediately to set the altar, because we do the creed and the prayers of the faithful inside the baptismal sacrament, and so we don't have them as a separate entity on baptisms. So again, once the baptism is over, Father's gonna call for the offertory, which is when we set the altar and get the gifts. Now the baptism with water is going to begin. Um, a server is going to bring over a towel, and that server will need to stay because Father uses the towel to uh, dry his hands because he uses his hands to baptize. He doesn't uh, use a, a shell scooper or you know, a, a device to pour over the child's head. Um, again, here's Luke with the next set of oils, uh, waiting reverently for Father to finish, and then he will return those items to... Um, Mrs. Fox when he has finished as well. Those were the places that this church was anointed. Those were the places where uh, Monsignor Caverly and actually myself, he anointed the columns on this side on April 8th of 2002, and I did the ones on that side. I think it was providential as coming back somewhere along the line. So we anointed each of those columns Notice now Father's handing the items back to Luke, um, and the next server is bringing over the white cloth 
to father and that server can return back to the other servers because they don't need to return the cloth to Mrs. Fox because the parents will keep it. The children also get a candle. This time father's going over to the um, baptismal candle and lighting it himself. If you're asked to do that or you get it lit from Mrs. Fox, notice how father settles first and then kind of uses his hand to shield the flame to walk back over to the family. Now we're getting ready to conclude and if you noticed how father uh, actually touched the book to move Spencer to the front of him. Now Spencer is standing right in front of that baptismal font. Please never step backwards blindly. If he felt he needed to move back, he should look back before he moves so he doesn't run the risk of bumping into the uh, baptismal font. Great job team.